What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to be talking about Jeepers Creepers 4 in this video primarily here today going over some comments that one of the stars has made. Some very unfortunate comments. I'll be going over that. But before I talk about that, I want to prime or not primarily, but I want to get this discussion out of the way surrounding this movie called companion which is coming from the crew that brought us barbarian it's written and directed by drew hancock now if you look up companion uh, drew hancock's companion it has things that are being kept under the wraps the plot etc but sophie thatcher's in it jack quaid is in it i'm going to be going over some of those details that are being kept under wraps now allegedly these are the characters sophie thatcher actually stars as iris iris Jack Quaid stars as Josh. Uh, Harvey Gwilin stars as Ellie or Eli. Patrick is played by Lucas Lucas Gage. Kat is played by Megan Surrey, who I think was just in It Lives Inside. I think that's her. Now, the film is revolving around this billionaire named Sergi who dies when this group of friends is visiting him at his lakeside estate. And his death leads to a series of unfortunate events happening after he dies i'm assuming all of this takes place at his lakeside estate but this was this has been described as a sci-fi thriller you'll start to see some of these details get confirmed in media outlets like deadline variety sooner rather than later but those are the plot details and the cast of the upcoming sci-fi thriller companion now diving into jeepers creepers 4 so ocean navarro who we know starred in jeepers creepers 4 has revealed that she received online harassment after the release of Jeepers Creepers 4. It went as, I guess it went as far as someone beginning to sell her information online. She was getting IG comments, WhatsApp messages, and a lot of them were very hateful according to what she was saying. She admits to being disappointed in the fourth film. Well, she didn't use those exact words, but that's the energy I was getting from her and her word choice that she decided to use in description of her viewing experience of the movie basically the collection of messages had her guessing if the film was bad because of her or is it something else because she wasn't given a frame of reference in these messages then she was like i watched the film and she was like it wasn't me babe i'll leave a link to this interview in the description but it was an interesting experience that she chose to share obviously the film's quality doesn't warrant online harassment however my thing is this as nice and genuine as she comes off the crew definitely seems like they were misled gaslit and pumped on a bunch of smoke such as the fact that i know jeru benjamin who played the creeper was very confident the response to his creeper performance would be warm if you will and i'm not saying most of it wasn't but where does this delusional thinking stem from the fact that you would think people would be okay with you in the role and not jonathan brick and then especially when they're seeing the makeup they're seeing the news about the lawsuit etc it just seems the producers truly sought out the most misinformed and naive people they could find since this backlash caught them off guard the film is a load of crap with barely anything to redeem it what on earth would you expect the response to be granted benjamin did say this about his recent role as the creeper when speaking with standish 913 he said, for me, it was such an honor to portray such an iconic character, and I am overwhelmed with the messages and support from the amazing Jeepers Creepers fan base. I'm not saying there are no positive messages coming in, but I doubt a lot of you that watched me thought he did a good job in the role, because I remember some of you giving me, giving me a little bit of flack for, for saying anything positive about his, about his job. Uh, Jeepers Creepers 4 was billed as the start of this trilogy, as we know. But where the hell is 5? There is no trilogy currently being worked on due to a lawsuit. We know Timo is out. Ocean and Ja Ru likely are not coming back, so it was a waste of time for them to do this movie. The movie was what a lot of people were saying it was. It was a cash grab. And the fact of the matter remains, I again cannot stress enough, it just seems very delusional to me to think that there would not be some sort of negativity. That's not warranted. The online harassment part, that's not warranted. There was no reason for anybody to leak her information. That's that's a no-go. However, criticism and disappointment and some sort of negativity towards your product I, I just struggle to see how they didn't see it coming it's it's like they again i would have to think the higher ups had to have sought out some of the most naive misinformed groups of people who i'm not saying are not fans of the original movie but come on now the the product that was being shown to us it was not presented in the most attractive light if you will 
And then when we got the final product with all of the appropriate context necessary, we all deemed that the film was so bad it was worthy of all of them going one on one with The Undertaker, Teddy Long style. <laughs> so I don't know. It, it was just a funny interview I saw. Not the nature of, of course, the online harassment part, but it's just the way if you look at some of the online comments on their social media pages, the backlash and the negativity towards them, some of it is unwarranted. Granted, I know a few of the comments are just simply expressing disdain for the way the creeper looks, the way the film was, the overall product and, you know, labeling the, the fans of the IP haters. I don't know if I would say they're hating. They're, they're literally expressing disdain. All the personal attacks, that's, if you guys are doing those personal attacts, obviously you shouldn't be doing that. Like I stated, there is no reason for that woman's private info to be sold online. No reason for that. But at the end of the day, still also, I don't know why everybody involved, not everybody, but from what I can see, a lot of people thought that people were going to eat this up. And it's like, what? Did you not see what you were working with? But then again, like I mentioned, Ocean herself saw the film. She doesn't seem to be the biggest fan of the overall product. She said it wasn't me, babe. I don't know who she thinks it was, but I know a lot of people, myself included, think it was Timo Varian Sola's fault. We ended up with such a poorly made movie. It was not a union job. A lot of non-union non -union workers were involved. And it was not happening, of course, during any strikes. There was no strikes going on. There was a lot of foul play, allegedly, according to what Jonathan Breck has kind of talked about and what he thinks was going on. So we will just have to remain patient and see if this IP ever gets revived in the near future. Like I stated before, I don't really see that happening until this lawsuit is resolved. And as of now, that lawsuit is not going to be resolved until September of 2024, when it was initially looking like it was going to get resolved next month 2024 but that's not happening because it's been extended into the jury trial taking place in september i will say this though there is something i've heard about the ip that i wish i could share with you guys i just can't share that right now it's also not related to a new movie but it is related to the ip itself when it gets announced if it gets announced you know what i am talking about because it'll be the only thing jeepers creepers related that is massive breaking news but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you have already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you'll like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video